So r and s are the roots of the equation x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. What does that mean? It means that x minus r times x minus s equals 0, because if you plug in x equals r, then the equation works, and if you plug in x equals s, the equation works. So the fact that r and s are the roots means that if you plug in x equals r, or plug in x equals s, the equation works out. So that's, that's just what that means. Now if we simplify the equation x minus r times x minus s equals 0, we get x squared minus xs minus rx plus rs equals 0. Now if we try to match that with the x squared plus bx plus c, we realize that c is rs. So when they ask us, is rs negative, really they're just asking, is c negative? So I think evaluating the statements at this point is probably going to be fairly easy, and we should do that right after the intro. So to recap, we wanted to know whether or not c is negative. Statement 1 tells us something about b, so that's not sufficient on its own. And statement 2 tells us that c is negative. So statement 2 is sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is b. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.